Pierre, Lakota, Chukaisk, Fort, is the state capital of the U.S. state of South Dakota, and the county seat of Hughes County. The population was 13,646 at the 2010 census, making it the second least populous state capital in the United States after Montpelier, Vermont, and the eighth most populous city in South Dakota. Founded in 1880 on the east bank of the Missouri River opposite Fort Pierre, Pierre has been the state capital since South Dakota gained statehood on November 2, 1889. It was challenged by Huron for the capital and won because of its location in the geographic center of the state. Fort Pierre was named after Pierre Chateau, Jr., a major American fur trader from St. Louis, Missouri, who was of colonial French origin. Pierre is the principal city of the Pierre Micropolitan Statistical Area, which includes all of Hughes and Stanley counties. Geography <laughs> 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 Pierre is located at 44 degrees 22 minutes 5 seconds north 100 degrees 20 minutes 11 seconds west 44.367966-100.336378. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 13.07 square miles 33.85 square kilometers, of which, 13.06 square miles 33.83 square kilometers is land and 0 0.01 square miles, 0.03 square kilometers is water. Pierre lies on rough river bluffs above the east bank of the Missouri River, overlooking its expanse. It is a few miles away from Lake Oahe, one of the largest man-made lakes in the world. Developed for flood control and irrigation, the lake has become a popular fishing destination. Topic: Climate Pierre has a relatively dry, four-season, humid continental climate DFA, with long, dry, cold winters, hot summers, and brief spring and autumnal transitions, as with much of the southern half of the state, it lies in USDA plant hardiness in Zone 5. According to weather maps and their data used as a basis, Pierre can be considered a semi-arid cold climate aided by its precipitation near the threshold that reaches even northeast of the city in South Dakota. As such, it is the only capital of the Midwest states with a non-humid climate. The monthly daily average temperature ranges from 19.9 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 75.4 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius, though the diurnal temperature variation is significantly greater during summer than in winter. Snow primarily falls in light amounts, with the snowiest months being February and March, while the average seasonal total is 32 inches meters. In addition, there are 20 nights per year with lows below 0 degrees Fahrenheit .8 degrees Celsius, and cold conditions are often intensified by the high winds of the Great Plains. Summers often see spikes in temperature, with 6.4 days of highs above 100 degrees Fahrenheit .8 degrees Celsius and 36–37 days with highs above 90 degrees Fahrenheit .2 degrees Celsius. .On July 23, 1973, an F3 tornado struck Pierre and caused 10 injuries. It was the strongest tornado ever recorded in Hughes County. The beginning of both May and October represent the last and first, respectively, freezing nights of the cooler season. Precipitation is much lighter in the winter months than it is in late spring and summer, and totals about 20 inches mm annually. Extremes have ranged from minus 35 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 37 degrees Celsius, on February 9, 1994, to 117 degrees Fahrenheit, 47 degrees Celsius, on July 15, 2006. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. Topic. 2010 census As of the census of 2010, there were 13,646 people, 5,778 households, and 3,463 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,044.9 inhabitants per square mile 403.4 per square kilometers. 
There were 6,159 housing units at an average density of 471.6 per square miles .1 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 85.1% white, 0.5% African American, 10.9% Native American, 0.6% Asian, 0.5% from other races, and 2.4% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino people of any race were 1.9% of the population. There were 5,778 households of which 29.2% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 45.7% were married couples living together, 10.4% had a female householder with no husband present, 3.8% had a male householder with no wife present, and 40.1% were non-families, 35.0% of all households were made up of individuals and 11% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.23 and the average family size was 2.87. The median age in the city was 39.3 years. 22.9% of residents were under the age of 18, 7.5% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 26.7% were from 25 to 44, 28.9% were from 45 to 64, and 13.9% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 47.8% male and 52.2% female. Topic: 2000 census. As of the census of 2000, there were 13,876 people, 5,567 households, and 3,574 families residing in the city. The population density was 1065.8 people per square mile, 411.5 per square kilometers. There were 5949 housing units at an average density of 457.0 per square miles, 176.4 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 88.91% white, 0.20% African American, 8.56% Native American, 0.46% Asian, 0.02% Pacific Islander, 0.29% from other races, and 1.56% from two or more races. Hispanics or Latinos of any race were 1.25% of the population. There were 5,567 households, out of which 32.9% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 51.6% were married couples living together, 9.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 35.8% were non-families, 31.5% of all households were made up of individuals, and 10.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.35, and the average family size was 2.96. In the city, the population was spread out, with 27.2% under the age of 18, 6.5% from 18 to 24, 28.6% from 25 to 44, 23.6% from 45 to 64, and 14.1% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 38 years. For every 100 females, there were 90.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 85.4 males. As of 2000 the median income for a household in the city was $42,962, and the median income for a family was $52,144. Males had a median income of $32,969 versus $22,865 for females. The per capita income for the city was $20,462. About 5.5% of families and 7.8% of the population were below the poverty line, including 7.9% of those under age 18 and 9.2% of those age 65 or over. Transportation Public transit is provided by River Cities Public Transit. Pierre also has an airport, Pierre Regional Airport, served by one commercial airline. 
Pierre is one of only four state capitals not served by an interstate highway along with Dover, Delaware, Jefferson City, Missouri, and Juneau, Alaska and the only one not served by any expressways. The nearest interstate highway is Interstate 90, about 34 miles 55 km south of Pierre via the four-lane U.S. Highway 83. I-390 is proposed to connect Pierre to I-90. The Rapid City, Pierre and Eastern Railroad runs east-west through the city. The railroad crosses the Missouri River on the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad Bridge. Education <inaudible> 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 The Pierre School District oversees three elementary schools, a middle school and a high school, T. F. Riggs High School. The only private school is St. Joseph, a Catholic elementary school administered by the local parish and the Diocese of Sioux Falls. Media Television. AM radio FM radio Newspaper The Capital Journal is the local newspaper and has been in circulation since 1881. OAHE TV is the local public, education, government cable channel serving Pierre, Fort Pierre on Midcontinent Communications Cable. Notable people Floyd Bannister, pitcher in Major League Baseball, Joseph Bottom, writer, Tom Brokaw, television journalist and author. Justin Gabriel, professional wrestler Robert Gleckler, actor Dusty Johnson, U.S. Representative from South Dakota Rex Robbins, actor Mike Rounds, Governor of South Dakota and Junior U.S. Senator from South Dakota In popular culture In 2015, in honor of the Monopoly game's 80th birthday, Hasbro held an online vote to determine which cities would make it into an updated version of the Here and Now, the U.S. edition of the game. The top boardwalk spot went to an unexpected contender, Pierre. It received the most votes, beating New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Boston. The picture that accompanied the name of the city in the balloting was of the well-known Mount Rushmore, even though the sculpture is in Keystone, 150 miles west of Pierre. Pierre is home to many attractions, including the OAHE Dam and the world's largest Menards, a regional home improvement store. 